Hello everyone, this is Cap of Codeclism, and I would like to welcome you to the 8th video in my Batch Files tutorial series. So, as promised, in this video we are going to be reading from the text file that we wrote to two videos ago using the for command that we learned about in the last video. So, the first thing we need to do here is create a variable to hold our file path. So we're going to use the set command we're just going to name it file and then we are going to find our text file again which in my case is here right click it go down to properties and then find the location so you copy that and then we paste it in here now you might have to add the ending to it because it might just copy the directory that the file's in and then you'll have to type in the name of the file in .txt oh. text not test okay so now we need to write our for command so with this for command instead of using the L switch like we did in the last tutorial we're going to use the F switch because we're working with a file this time. So after that we can actually put in options. Now you can put in a lot of different options in between the double quotes but for the purposes of this tutorial we're only going to concern ourselves with tokens. We're going to set that equal to star because we want it to grab everything not just you know, certain words or anything up to a certain symbol so next we have in keyword and inside of these parentheses we want to put the path to our file which is why we made our file variable so now we are going to tell what we want it to do and we want it to echo a temporary variable so we'll say a and we also need to come back here and add that in there so let's save it and run it and as you can see it took what was in our text file if I open it up here there you go and <clears throat> read it into our command prompt and it was that that easy guys as I said batch files are pretty simple and you know you can do a lot with just very little code so in the next video we are going to look at how we can customize our prompt a little and don't worry guys, all this is kind of working up to a big project with I, which, which I think is pretty cool. So if you like this video, let me know by hitting the like button. And if you've watched a few videos and really like them, uh, go ahead and subscribe so that you can keep up to date on when we post new ones. So I would like to thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.